Hi everybody, Gertler from Cape Town and welcome to another video. We pretty much in isolation mode here in Cape Town for the COVID-19. We don't go out, we go nowhere, we just in the house the whole time. Perfect time to make videos, but dude, it's the most stunning day in Cape Town and you basically can't go nowhere. You hear the birds chirping out there. Damn. To all my friends and followers, I'm really praying that God will protect you and your families during this crazy time. Anyway, let's continue with the video. Last week, I read an article that was published, I think it was by Fox News. Now that news article told us that there's a potential variance of up to 23% in respect of the official listed calorie values of food. Are all of them wrong? Wow, we don't know. This is now the big question. But there definitely is some very crazy variances. Let me give you an example. The one study was done by Bayer and colleagues. Now what they determined was that almond nuts will have different calorie value uptake by your body depending on whether it's raw, cooked or finely processed, like in a buttery form for example. Basically what this means is that the cell membranes of the almond is intact when it's raw, it's partly damaged when it's cooked, and it's mostly damaged when it's in like a processed form. And the more the cell membrane of the fruit item is damaged, the more energy, calories, your body's actually gonna absorb from this food. The less the cell membrane is damaged, the more of your food item will go down the toilet. Now this pretty much applied to everything out there. So what we thought about almonds, for example, seems to be not true at all because that X amount of calories is not all absorbed by your body. It depends on what state this food is in and that will determine how much of these calories are absorbed by your body. The same went for cashew nuts. There was a different study by a different group that was done on cashew nuts and they had pretty much the same outcome. So what it boils down to is that we now have a big question mark over the official calorie tables of food as stated in all the journals. So initially I was like really upset when I read these studies and this news article because our fitness individuals and you know the people that are healthy minded we put so much effort in counting our calories comparing calories and things like that and so on and now all of a sudden you find out you know that they there's so much uncertainty about the actual calorie values and that uncertainty could be up to 23%, maybe even more, we don't know. But you know guys, then I went and sit and think a bit and I decided this is not what it's about. It's not about the actual caloric value of the food. What it's about is that we just need a fixed reference point and that is the calorie values as it's published. Whether it's perfect or not, that's the way it's published. That's a fixed reference point. The power of you reaching your goal with your diet lies in you manipulating your diet to force it to success. And that manipulation is a whole process. That's something like every 14 days, you go through your body monitoring. That includes things like weighing yourself on a scale, using tape measurements to see if it's increased or decreased or whatever happened to your body. And the last thing is you'll take fat calipers and do a pinch test on various parts of your body to determine your body fat percentage. Now, all these three things, You'll then put in a logbook, you'll compare it to the previous 14 days results. And then depending on the difference in these results, you will then change your diet. Either you will up your calories with a value of let's say up to 10%, or you'll down your calories with a value of up to 10%, never more than 10%, or you'll keep your calories the same if they deliver the necessary results. And with that process, you force your diet to deliver the required results, whether the actual stated and published calorie values is correct or not, is fairly irrelevant. That's just a fixed reference point. So I think science has still got a lot of more work to do, but for now, let's not be too worried about the actual calorie values. We use it only as a fixed reference point, and we force our results via manipulating our diet. There's a lot of information that I published on my website, www.hertlow.com, where I help you understand this process, this monitoring process, and how to enforce this monitoring process. So just do a bit of searching there. There's also a lot of other information that can help you in the whole process. So as new science studies coming out like these, I'll keep you guys updated and give you my opinion as to how to interpret them in your everyday life. Okay guys, just a quick reminder about my three important links. The first one is my donation link. For those of you that can afford it, please to speak positively into people's lives. And then my second link, that is my coaching transformation system for the older guy, the advanced system two. This is where I customize my system for you, design it specifically for your body, your goals. Third link, that is where you can order supplements and get a 15% discount. Behind the screens, I'm organizing all these deals for you and I'll put them regularly at the end of my videos. And then, 
Guys and girls, use your diet to force results and make your dreams happen. Stay safe, everybody. God be with you. Gertlof and Cape Town signing off. Cheers.